So guys, there's tons of information out there on the internet on what you should sell online. This week, we're talking all about items you should not sell on Amazon. There's tons and tons of products that you should stay away from. And today, I'm going to tell you how to identify those red flags so you can avoid unprofitable items. So let's get started. The first thing you want to look out for is items that there's a lot of competition on. I'm not talking about, you know, normal levels of competition. I'm talking about elevated levels of competition. If you do a quick search, how many results are you getting for that product, right? Let's take the example of a cell phone case. There might be 200,000 different sellers selling a cell phone case online. Same thing's true of like wallets, right? So these are items that have a lot of competition and it's gonna be very hard to stand out in the crowd of uh, other sellers, regardless of what you do and how you differentiate yourself in the market. So it's really important to try to stay away from these overly competitive categories that are already flush with tons of sellers that are all competing to make that sale. The next thing I want you to stay away from is items that the exact same or similar item is available uh, already online. And a good way to do this is just do some searches and see if uh, the item that you're planning on bringing over or selling is already available. What people don't realize is that there's very few factories in the world that make a specific type of product, right? So there might only be three or four factories in the world that produce toilet seats or that produce flashlights or wallets, right? So because there's such a limited number of suppliers, the chance that somebody else is selling that exact same item, maybe just a slightly different color or one or two little differences, right? The odds of that are pretty high. So I think it's really important that if you're gonna introduce a new product, you're gonna bring a product over, that you take some time and make sure that somebody else doesn't already have that exact thing you are going to be selling. Because these factories, they wanna to sell to as many people as possible. That's what makes them money. So they don't really care how much competition you have on that exact same item. The next thing you wanna avoid is commodity goods. Um, and there's a lot of different explanations for why this is, but generally I just find that they're very low margin and because of this, it's hard to make a profit after you know shipping and advertising and storage and all these other fees, right? So how do I know if something is a commodity good? Well, a commodity good I usually like to explain is something that, you know, is interchangeable, right? I don't really care if I get this gallon of gas or that gallon of gas. They're pretty much identical quality. I don't really care which one I get because that perceived value from additional quality is so small. So the way I want you to think about this is if you've ever shopped online and you've hit that price lowest first filter and then just bought the cheapest thing you can find, that is probably one of these commodity type goods, right? And the problem with these commodity type goods is everybody's on a race to the bottom, right? It's a red ocean. There's a lot of competition. Everybody's trying to get as low as possible on price. And because of this, you end up in a position where you're just competing with everybody else to have the lowest price. It doesn't really matter what you do to stand out. It always comes down to price, and because of that, you're always going to have a very poor margin. That's going to make it very difficult for you to make money, especially if you're a new seller and you don't understand how the world of shipping and advertising and all of that works yet. The next type of item I want to caution against are extremely large items, right? Things that you might run into a surcharge on, right? Things that are extremely large, extremely heavy, uh... You know, because a lot of times people are unaware that there are surcharges that these carriers put in place for oversized packages or extremely heavy packages, right? And a lot of times you can see shipping labels for things like furniture that are over three, four hundred dollars. So what I would recommend is researching the cost of uh shipping that item before you purchase it. If it has a very large shipping cost, 
this might be why there's not a lot of competition on that product and that margin might evaporate. It's not a you shouldn't do it, it's that you should research it beforehand. The same thing is true when it comes to ads, right? Some keywords are just more expensive than others. So before you import a product that you think has a large margin, you may wanna check advertising cost as well as the shipping cost. These are some of the red flags that I, you know, recommend keeping an eye out for in the market. Uh, if you're looking for some example products, like I said, cell phone cases, wallets, flashlights, knives, right? Like these are items that it's pretty hard to differentiate yourself. I'm not saying don't go for it. I'm saying, you know, make sure you have a plan. Make sure you understand what you're getting into. Make sure you understand the challenges in front because these items, although they're all over the internet and they're really easy to get into, can be a trap for new sellers as they are uh, usually pretty competitive categories. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you could do us a favor, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share. Uh, it really helps us out with this channel. We're trying to get the 5,000 subscribers and we're right there. We're right there and we need your help to get there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.